Hello, my name is Norm Campo from Performance Metal Shaping. Welcome to our second video. Uh, today we're going to talk about punch and flare and punch and bead and hole punches, mostly made by Mittler Brothers out of uh, Forestall, Missouri. Uh, a lot of times when you're working on a hot rod, you're working on a race car, you're working on an aircraft, you have to do things to lighten up the metal, get weight out of the car, get weight out of the aircraft, and make the metal stiffer. These will actually add shape to the metal in the shape of a flare like this, which comes into the back, or in the shape of a bead like this, which is more ornamental. Okay. They also add a substantial amount of strength to the panel. Take a stock sheet of metal like this, and I'm just going to bear down on the ends. You can see it just bends like there's nothing. No resistance, no nowheres. Now I'm going to take a punch and bead. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pull down on it. And see it better than this side. You actually see some flat spots developing. And the flat spots are basically where the punches are. If you see the metal bending, it's actually bending here, here, and here. It's not actually bending in, in the middle of these beads. Okay? So I can add strength to a panel, and I can also take weight out of a panel. I can also use it if I want to put something through a firewall, for example, like wiring or hoses and stuff. You just put a grommet in here. Now this thing is nice and recessed. Or you put a grommet in here. The same thing, you can run stuff through. Glue in a piece of uh, a grommet and now you have a nice hole, you have a lot of strength under the panel and a little bit of a safety factor involved also. Now I want to show you how they work. They're real easy. Over here we have two sets of punches. These are punch and flare. The punch and bead is actually on our machine over here. We'll show you that later. This here being the punch and flare this is the automotive style. The automotive style actually will put a 45 degree radius into the panel like this and make it one eighth larger than the hole itself. So if you're cutting a one inch hole through here, it actually makes a hole an inch and an eighth. Notice how deep this is. Okay, this works very good on heavy gauge metal or on heavier gauge metal. The next one I'm going to show you afterwards is going to be the aircraft. And the aircraft actually cuts a 35 degree straight angle and adds 1 16th to the uh, metal thickness. So basically if you're putting a 1 inch hole you're going to gain 1 and 1 16th. The metal thickness on the automotive will punch 040 to 065 aluminum and on the aircraft will cut a thickness of 020 to 040 aluminum or mild steel. Okay. One of the things that you're going to find if you get into the smaller size, like the inch and the inch and a quarter, use the, auto, uh, use the aircraft punch and flare. Uh, if you're doing real thin aluminum or you're doing real thin steel, what's going to happen is you're stretching the metal so much in here, the metal's being stretched so much, it'll actually split and you'll see little cuts inside here. Uh, sometimes, especially in aircraft, that can lead to a lot of problems. Okay? You also, with this tool, you can punch a hole as I punch some holes here to show you. Okay, I'm going to show you how this is done. It's a real simple task. First thing I do is I drill a hole using a step bit. You can use a half inch drill if you want, but I find these step bits work real good. Right up to a half inch. We're going to use an automotive tool here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this right through here. And I'm going to put the cutter in this way, and I'm going to screw this into the back on the flat side. So this is working like a mandrel. We're going to take a three-quarter inch wrench, and we're going to start the cut. Now the other thing you got to watch out with is tolerances. On the automotive punch and flange tools, the punch to die clearance is 12 thousandths of an inch, 0 0.012, okay? That's a little bit more space, so when you're cutting heavier metal, it actually cuts the heavier metal. With the thinner metal, it'll tend to bind it up a little bit and bend it up a little bit. The aircraft working with the thinner type material, that'll cut, uh, that's got a tolerance of 007. So basically you cut the thinner material and not leave a burr, not leave the metal looking a little, you know, lousy. So now I'm going to take this apart. 
I'm going to pop this off. I'm just going to pop this out. And there's our hole. Nice one inch hole. Now the beauty of this over a punch over a drill is you got a true round hole. Next thing is you have a nice smooth surface on the back. Don't get a lot of burrs and stuff like that. That makes it really, really nice. Now the next thing is, as this tool says, this is also a punch and flare tool, okay? And being a punch and flare tool, basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna put this die in here like this, and this is gonna cut in like this. And as it does, it's gonna push itself through and cause the metal to cut. So we're gonna put this this way. We're gonna put our die right up to here like that now we've already that just cut the hole you'll feel it nice easy right there now the next step we're going to do we're going to put the bead in Now we just unscrew this. I'm going to take this apart in the same way so you see how the dies go together. So this is basically that part of the die. There's the cutter. There's the bolt part that goes in here again that does the flare. Okay. And the end result is our nice punched out, flared out tool. This works really, really nice. Okay, the aircraft one works identical. The bead one works identical if you were to use a bead one. I will show you how to use a bead one and a press also for production. But they all work the same, they make a very, very nice job.